how to create your very own CryptoPunk NFT collection. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own punk style NFTs in a very easy way that doesn't involve any coding or any paid software whatsoever. And be sure to watch this video until the very end so that you don't miss any steps. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what do we want to do is go over to Photoshop. Over here, what we want to do is create a new canvas. Now the width and the height of the canvas should be you know exactly the same so 24 by 24 height okay and once we do that make sure everything else is pretty similar from centimeters to pixels actually convert it to pixels and keep it like 24 to 24 yeah and once you've done that pixels to centimeters pixels to inches everything looks good simply click on create wait a couple of seconds for it to load up all right so now what we can do is we can zoom in as you can see over here it's you know zoom in as you can see this is the pixels over here so what we need to do next is we need to grab a pencil tool right over here is the pencil tool right over here the size of the pencil tool should be one pixels right and hardness should be 100 okay so this is it right now let's go ahead and you know we should probably remove the background as well like you know we need to remove the background these are the channels paths waves so now that we have our background i guess we can't you know change it so whatever we'll just go with 21 i actually made it 24 we'll change it to 21 actually yes proceed now what we can do is we need to like create seven dots over here one two three four five six seven Okay, now that we have that, what we can do next is we need to create a new layer. Okay, so I had a slight problem, but I think it's fixed now. Okay, so this is it right here. Now, the layer has been created. Now, we can go ahead and remove this one over here, which was these. Okay, this is not the eraser. I thought it was the healing brush. Where is the eraser? Here we go. Eraser tool, right? Here we go. One pixel. We'll go with this. There you go. Now that that's gone, this is how I basically did it, right? Seven over here. No, eight over here, then a small ear, two, then four, no, five. And then I went seven across over here. And then I went 13 down below, and then an angle, then four over here, and then the next. So this is how it basically is. This is the standard template as we've all seen. It's pretty recognizable. It's really easy to create. Now what we can do next is we can go ahead and create its mouth right so for the mouth i'm gonna go with like two over here three actually and then for the nose i'm gonna be two over here and then for the eyes i'm gonna go one over here and one over here so yeah that's basically it we can go ahead and you know switch white one as well so we can also add like another white over here as well actually we should do it like this okay so we should make this one black and we should make this one white there you go okay now what we can do next is we can fill it out and we're basically done actually let me just remove the mouth real quick i don't know why so this is basically it we're not going to remove the mouth i think i thought it was a little bit too wide but actually it's pretty perfect so we're not going to remove it we're going to keep it like this this is basically done okay once we've done that what we can do now is we need to create like a new folder all right we created a new folder and we're going to drag this layer into that folder okay now that that's over there what we can do next is we need to like you know color this in so grab a brush tool over here all right no actually keep the pencil all right and then what we can do next is we need to find a skin color okay like nice little skin color i think this is what do nice okay so now that we have that okay we need to like you know select the layer and now we can go ahead and do it not using the uh, bucket tool because sometimes you know the image it bleeds out as you can see over here okay so this is how it looks like i think it looks pretty nice all right like looks pretty cool this is the standard template of the steampunk or the punk style nft that we see on the open seas or wearable or other uh, nft platforms okay now what we're going to do is we're going to close this up and create a new layer and what we're going to do is basically create variations like basically create folders different hairstyles uh different hats and stuff like that okay so for different you know hairstyles let's just do it like this let's go over here and choose this one okay like a little bit of blue over here right a little bit of blue never hurt no one let's just make a small beanie over here 
right? Wait, a beanie's supposed to be this bag. Okay, so let me just do it again. Okay, so over here, right? A small little beanie. It ain't no hurt, no one. We can make it a little bit more, but it's, it's okay. Yeah, so this one is it. Go ahead, create a new layer, right? Or duplicate the layer, however you want it, and you can change the color. Okay, so basically just change the color. I'm going to go with another green one now. And there we go. Green beanie ready. Now we can go ahead and, you know, duplicate the layer over here. Now what we can do is we can, you know, make a new folder. And we'll call it hats. Now what we can do is we can add these layers over here into this group. And we'll call this group hats. Now what we can do next is we can create a new layer, right? And select this file over here and drop it down in over here and not, you know, see it. Now what we can do, we have to create, let's just say that we need to create new glasses. Sorry about that. Now let's go ahead and create some eyes real quick, right? So let's just go ahead and grab our pen tool right now, right? And uh, okay, where is our pencil over here? Where is our layer? Right here okay so we'll just you know drag this over here and create this one over here and what we can do next is just you know do it like this and now let's just fill it in with something other than you know let's just fill it in with red okay take red okay there we go okay maybe if we made a square it would look even better yeah i think it would look better and now okay yeah, convert it. There we go. Looks much, much better, actually. Yeah, this one looks much nicer. We can go ahead and save this one. Now let's go ahead and create a new layer, right? And now over here, what we can do is we can, like, you know, change the color of the glasses. We'll go with blue. Blue it is. And there we go. Okay, so now that we have done this, we'll go ahead and create a new group and we'll just call this one. Uh, glasses and we'll just you know take these layers and put them in this group right as you can see over here there we go so now we have hats now we have you know glasses now we need is hair actually yeah so let's go ahead and create a new layer and in this layer we'll go with something normal hair like you know something punkish type let's go with you know blue so what we can do next is we'll go with this one over here, right? Let's just say some weird funky shit is going on over here, right? So over here. So this is going to be the hair, like some hair falling down over here, going over there. Let's just say this is Goku. And yeah, actually, you know what? We forgot to change the color. So let's go with sky blue. Yeah. And that is basically it. Okay, now let's go ahead and create, as you guys suspected, a new group and call it hair. And now what we can do is we can move all of these layers inside this folder. And yeah. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we need to do now is we need to start exporting these images. Okay, so what we need to do now is go over to image and go over to image size. And over here, what we need to do is scale it up to 1000, right? And then for resampling, turn it on and choose nearest neighbor so that it doesn't get blurry. All right. As you can see over here, right, it looks pretty smooth. But if you go with automatic, it, it, it looks like this. It's just bad, really. So we're just going to go with the nearest neighbor, hard edges, and keep it OK. OK, so let me just, you know, zoom out a little bit. So this is the image right here. This is how it looks like. All right. So now what we need to do is start exporting it. Just simply select all these files. All right. Don't select the folder you simply right click on the selected files and click on export as and over here all the files are going to be over here and then just simply come over here and to click on export options right these are going to be the size the width and the resample everything looks pretty cool right now where is the export over here click on export and then over here just simply go for the folder over here just simply make a new folder and call it glasses and just select the folder and that is basically it and once you've done that same goes with the hair and everything i'm gonna go ahead and export all of this and i'll catch you guys in a little bit okay so next as you can see i've exported it over here here are all the files now let's go over to this website called 
NFT art generator over here. What you want to do is create layers over here. Now, when you first arrive, it's going to look something like this. What you're going to do is just simply add the or files over here. Just simply upload them. So I had this one over here. Just simply upload it here. Create a new layer for, let's say, glasses, right? Glasses are over here. Let's go open the folder. Glasses are over here. Just simply drag and drop them over here and let's preview it and then this is how it will look like now i know it doesn't look pretty good that's because i messed up the aspect ratio and the uh, resolution so it's you know a little bit different when you do that make sure you you know check up on the resolution so that you don't end up with something like this but this is how it basically is now what you're going to do over here as you can see collection size you just enter in let's say 100 and then just simply click on generate collection over here and then you'll get 100 nfts generated at a random spot depending upon how many layers you add so that is it for this video guys that is how you create your very own punk style nft collection now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye